Good morning. Good morning and Merry Christmas. Okay, good morning and Merry Christmas Eve. I'm Coach Skip and I have your uh, special holiday edition of our at home uh, burn workout. So uh, it's, a, it's a great holiday. So hopefully you're, you're celebrating with loved ones and uh, it, this is a great time of year to, to stay in shape and to keep your body healthy and, and moving and going. And with all the, the craziness that is the, the holiday season, it's important to, to be able to get that, that stress relief and uh, be able to have some fun doing it. So we're going to get into it today. We've got uh, two rounds of a warm-up for you. We definitely want you to get going a little bit. Uh, and so start out with 20 jumping jacks, 15 good mornings, and then 10 down-up dogs. On those jumping jacks, get going loud and proud. Spread that Christmas cheer and just get those arms and legs moving together. Um, back and forth on those jumping jacks. If you need a less impact version, then just step out and step back as you go here. Uh, the next exercise after your 20 jumping jacks, you're gonna do 15 good mornings and just bend at the, the waist to get that hamstring stretch. Keep those shoulders back and a nice soft bend in the knees, just enough to feel that stretch from the hamstring all the way up to the glute. And then as you're coming back up, really squeeze your butt uh, to get that full extension and to really get something out of this exercise. The final one is going to be 10 down up dogs. And so get into that down dog position, let your hat touch the ground if you need to, and then push those hips into the ground as you get that, that uh, core stretched out. If you need to use some kind of a raised platform, getting up and down on the ground is a challenge, then that's okay. Just go to something that's a couple feet off the ground and push that butt up into the air, and then push those hips right down. And that way you'll get that same stretch uh, without, without quite the, the impact. So that is the, the warm up for today. Next, we are going to get into a very special holiday edition of our workout. We've got the 12 days of fitness. So uh, in this fitness workout, uh, we're gonna be doing how this works is just like the song. If you've listened to the song, and it also helps, I find, to listen to the song beforehand so you kind of get it in your head, and that way it's a whole lot more fun as you're going through the workout. Uh, so when, when you do the first exercise, which is going to be a burpee broad jump, after you complete that, you'll go on to the next exercise, which is going to be two tuck jumps, and then you're going to go back and do one burpee broad jump. Then you'll go on to the third exercise, which is three V-ups, and then you'll go back to two tuck jumps and one burpee broad jump, just like a partridge in a pear tree and the, the way the whole song goes. So, and uh, if you want me to sing it for you, you, you would not be too happy this morning. So, um, as we get into it, on that burpee broad jump that we're starting out with, we've got one of those. And you are going to do this each round. So for a total throughout the workout, you're going to be doing 12 burpee broad jumps, one for each round we go through. On that burpee, you are going to jump back, get that, that chest to the ground, jump up, and then give me a jump every single time. Uh, on that jump, get as far as you can. Use that entire body as you jump. Uh, and that's going to make it a whole lot more fun. If you need to step back into the burpee and then step up and then get that jump going, that's totally fine too. You can also use your raised platform where you step back, get that chest down, stand up, and then still give me a little jump, uh, even if it's just a foot or two. After the, the burpee broad jump, you're going to be doing uh, 10, or I'm sorry, two tuck jumps. On that tuck jump, you're just going to be jumping and bringing those knees to the chest, get as high as possible. Again, this is a great way to spread Christmas cheer, get that heart rate up, get those lungs going. That's exactly what we want to see out of this one. Um, after those, uh, on the tuck jump, 
if you need an alternative that is not such a jump and doesn't have such an impact, then just bring your knees into your chest, right plus left will equal one rep, so you'll do it a second time. So do uh, two hind marching knees, really bring them into your chest as an alternative to those tuck jumps. The next one is going to be a V up. On that V up, we're going flat on your back and you're gonna bring your hands to your toes every single time. Get that good core, uh, core work in. Uh, you're gonna be doing three of those V ups. After your three V ups, you'll go back down and do two tuck jumps and then one burpee broad jump again. Hopefully you've gotten the point of the, the way the, the workout works by now. If you need an alternative for those V-ups, use your trusty bench and just bring your knees to your chest and out again. And just get as close as you can every single time uh, to, get the best, uh, to, to get the most work possible in. Next one is gonna be push-ups. From the push-up position, hands right underneath your shoulders, get all the way down to the ground, chest and thighs touching, and push away. And get that full range of motion every time for your four, uh, four push-ups. And then go, if you need to go from your knees, that's okay too. Or of course, use your raised platform where you're getting chest all the way down and then push away each time. Uh, number five is donkey kicks. And in that donkey kick, we're gonna be on all fours and you're gonna be pushing one leg back and then the other leg back. Since it is Christmas season, we can call this a reindeer kick for today. And hopefully Santa's not too close behind where he doesn't get kicked in the groin or anything. So again, right back, one, two, three. If you need to use your raised platform, you can do the same thing and just kick that leg back. Both legs is going to equal one rep. After our five donkey kicks, we have got six air squats on the air squat, feet shoulder width apart, get nice and low, keep that chest up, and right out of it again. Keep that motion going for all six. If you need to use something uh, for some assistance, then just grab a chair, grab a bench, and just right up and down the same way, working on staying on your heels and keeping your chest up the entire time. After your six air squats, we've got seven sit-ups. On the sit-up, butterfly those feet, bring those shoulders right behind the ground, all, all the way behind you, touch the ground, throw those arms forward, every single time for that full range of motion sit up. If you need to grab onto something, something that's going to give you some uh, extra leverage and help, doesn't matter. Grab something from, from home. It can be a lawn ornament. It can be something that just weighs a couple of pounds and use that to help you get all the way up to the top. I have my holiday armadillo here for my uh, extra resistance help. Uh, after the, on the sit-ups, you can also do these from a bench where you're just bringing your legs up and down again. We already did the V-up where we're bringing our knees into our chest. On the sit-up, just bring the legs up and down as far as you can. You're going to get that good core workout out of it. Number eight is lunges. On this one, again, right plus left is going to equal one rep. So get all the way down to the ground and back again. And just keep that, that range of motion going here. If you need something that's a little bit less resistance, uh, you can do a step up, grab uh, a, any kind of a stair in the house, a box, a chair, and just step up this way instead of lunging all the way to the ground. And that's not gonna be quite as impactful on the, on the joints. Uh, finally, we've got four more. Nine is going to be Superman. On the Superman, you're gonna be flat on your stomach again, and you're gonna bring chest and, th shoulder, chest and thighs up and back down again. And just keep 
that motion going. Give me a one to two second pause at the top each time. Uh, if getting down on the ground what I, is an issue, what I want you to do is just stand up and push those hips forward and let go. Kind of an opposite of a good morning. After Superman, we've got 10 jumping jacks, just like what we did in the warm up. Just get those arms and legs moving together. And also, just like in the warm up, if you need to do a step out and step back, that's totally okay too. The, the last two, we've got side plank rotation, which is the same thing as plank balance. So either from your hands or from your forearms, keep that torso straight from shoulders down to the heels and just back and forth. Two, three. And so right plus left equals one on these. If you need to go off your knees, that's okay. You can also use your bench here where you're doing the same thing. The higher the platform, the less the resistance. Right back and forth. And the final one is 12 mountain climbers. So Santa's got to get up back up that mountain at the North Pole again. So on those mountain climbers, hands are right underneath your shoulders and you're just bringing your knees as close to your elbows as you can. Same as all the rest here. Right plus left is gonna equal one rep. If you need to use your platform, that's fine. Same thing, either jumping or stepping. Stepping will be just fine. Just get those legs moving as fast as possible. So enjoy your 12 days of Christmas workout. Uh, all of the, the whole Wildfire CrossFit and Wildfire Fitness team wishes you a Merry Christmas and a very, very happy new year. So have a great day. We will have another workout for you tomorrow, and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon at Wildfire Fitness. Have a great day. Coach Skip signing off. Merry Christmas.